Just how do you get success from a really bad team? Just how? This is, without a shadow of a doubt, the hardest team I've ever had to manage, ever. Welcome back everyone, as you can see we are still at the mighty Limmer Bader United, we stayed for a second season. I like to tell you I was inundated with job offers, I turned them down through true loyalty to Limmer Verdi. Truth is, we didn't get offered one job, so I had to take the new contract on offer by the Limmer Verdi board. Look I said in the intro this is the hardest job I've ever had, this is ridiculous. So I've signed this fella, Cole, let's call him Cole. He was having a banging season, as you can see. 7.55. We signed him in like October and he's gone again. And I couldn't do anything about it because none of my players have got contracts. They're all playing for a Kit Kat a match. So if they get a better offer, someone comes in and offers them a full pack lunch, they're off. So the churn of players is ridiculous. Add to that this wage budget is constantly minus 116. So I can only offer one pound. I've had to do something and this is where if you're doing a save similar to this you need to get in here the development center has been my godsend it has saved us it's saved us no players no money no hope then i went to the development center and i found a young strapping 15 year old striker the absolute hero the hero of this club brendan friel he's now 16 he was 15 when i had to throw him into the team Look at his stats. He scored 12 goals in 15 games. 15 year old, now 16. He saved us, he's done that well. I went to the corner shop for him and I bought him and his mates some 2020, some archers and let them go and have a wild night because if without him, we were screwed. And by the way, his stats are only on the increase. I think I'm gonna have to take this lad with us wherever we go. And unbelievably has led us to lead the league after 16 matches. Remember, we've only got four matches left. Four, it's a 20 match season if we can win the league. We're that close now, we're five points clear, four games to go. You'll notice a few of the boys have gone. The madman's gone, he's left us, he went away for another Kit Kat. Honestly, players have just been coming and going as they please. They drop in like a youth centre and then they just do one when the pool table's broken. But the team is there. The 4 4 2 has got us through. Now, this shows our predicament. Centre back, I've had about five different pairings so far. This lad's just came in, Shy O'Connor. He's 19, and next to him is Adam Wells, who's 19. And the backup for those two 19-year-olds, the first one is Ryan Murphy, who is 16, and the second one is Dale Devlin, who is 16. No experience in the team now, other than the boys up front, Pumaroy, who is 25. He's probably my oldest player now. When I said this was the hardest save I've ever done, I honestly meant it. The players are garbage, but we're somehow top. Start of the season was fantastic. The preseason was wild. 7 0, 5 6, 5 1, 3 0, 8 0. And then we went on a great streak at the start of the season, which was basically the platform to get us where we are. Last season was the opposite. We started a bit trashy. This time we started great. A couple of defeats dotted in. Glen Torren are a Premier Division team, so they're beating in the cup. No drama there. Back in the saddle, really good. And then our first league defeat of the season, out of nowhere, was 5 0. At home to Banbridge. Don't know what happened there. We responded well. Another big defeat, 4-6. This is non-league football for you. But we've done better. We've got back in the saddle. We've just won the cup game 6-1. So we're still in the Intermediate Cup, which I think is some sort of league cup for this league in Northern Ireland. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six games left. Now, our next game is up against Newington. And if you look at the league table again, they're right below us. If they beat us, it's within two points. We can't get to the playoffs. We will not go up if we go to the playoffs. We need to stay high up. Three or four games left. Let's do it.
So you saw it, you saw it. We are top of the league, and now we've got two games left. At the start of the video, I said we had four games left, and it was a 20 game a season. I got that wrong, it's 22. Maths was never my strong point. 12 teams in the league, played each other twice, that's 22 games, right? Anyway, we've got two games left. We're clear by four. So I make that one point from our next two games will get us up. Let's do it. These are the two games. So it's Distillery, who are about sixth in the league, and Ban Bridge, who are 11th. So surely we're going to do it, right? Surely we can't mess this up. And this would be a nice way to end our first club in the Stingerman Journeyman series. Now, I've talked about him earlier in the video, but Brendan Friel, who is now 16, his last five games, he's got two goals, two assists, 14 goals in 20 overall. We're going to try our hardest, wherever we end up after this club, to take him with us because we've started to develop him. We're training him. I don't know why his crossing's improved. I don't need you to cross, big man. I need you to finish. Brendan, one to watch. And the theme of this video was about your development centre, and he is case in point numero one. Check that development centre out when you are desperate for players. Now, to the match. The boys are ready. You'll notice I've started to use a no-nonsense fullback on defence. I'm kind of experimenting with this. It may lead to a video about them. But what I've found is, when my keeper's got the ball, his distribution's a bit better because he's offering an outlet. So if it goes shorter, the opposition press higher, leaving more spaces for the wingers. So I'm going to experiment that a bit more, maybe in a video coming soon. But we'll put him there, especially away from home. The left-hand side is where it's at. You can see how aggressive we are on the left. We've got an inverted winger attack. Central midfielder attack and the wing back. So a lot comes down that side. Distillery have lost four in a row. This has got to be the one. We can't throw this away. We're away from home. I like the stadium. It's in the middle of a town centre, it looks like. Tower blocks in the back. People watching with binoculars because the stadium's that full that they can't get in. Here we are, match day now. This is the FM Renty skin. And what it gives you is this screen here. And what I love about it is it shows your key passes that everyone's making got a highlight crew and it's a throw in to us Primroy to rocks down the right i've talked about the left and we go down the right typical right there's the ball forward but nothing comes of it right down the left finally we go down the left hand side but it's won back by this distillery they play it forward but we win it back nice now here's rocks down the right rocks the tricky winger can he beat his man he whips it across yes he does to the back post yes come on lumi can why puts it in as it stands, it's job done. And it's a good job of winning because Knock Brid are also winning. The lead is still four points. If we lose this lead, Cadden to Henderson. He crosses to Beta. What a name. Oh, and he's put it in. Half time. As it stands, we're not going up. We're not going up as champions yet because Knock Brid are winning and the lead is only two points. We need to get this goal. Distillery are coming back at us here. The ball goes over top to Swan. Boom and wins it and Harkin clears. I'm not liking the way this game's going though at the minute. Now McKeever, wing back down the left. Great ball to the goal scorer, Kamwai. Is he going to go in his, his cell? He crosses to... Oh, you little beauty, Brendan. We focused on him. The 16-year-old has just pinged it in. We don't deserve it. That's enough, though. Corner to the distillery. Comes in. Off the line. New legend. I can't even see who did it, but fantastic. And now on the break with Pumaroy. We are holding on here to this win. But still, look at the way they're playing. They should not be mid-table. They're pinging it around. Comes to Duggan, to McCoy. Lashes one. Oh... My teenage centre-backs are getting a bit of a pound in here. McKeever gives it away. That's awful. Now McCaw. McKeever's my most experienced player and he gives it away. Duggan and Swan's going to ping one. Oh my days, what a strike. Another corner. They've just absolutely mauled us. Punter punches it clear bizarrely. Pumroy hammers it forward to no one in particular. I can't believe we fell down here. This is going to go at the last game and we've got three clubs on our ass now. Three. Henning plays it through. Swan's in to finish it off. Oh... I'm recording this first thing in the morning as you can probably tell by the way I look and I wish I hadn't bothered because they are playing awful and bait has come through. This could be the fifth. He crosses it and Swan puts in the fifth. What has happened to my boys? I can't even celebrate. Lumi Kanwai puts it in. It's 5-3. Oh, you can see the formation we went to to try and get it back. One more game then. Oh. League table, one game to go. We cling on to the lead by one point from Banger and Knock Breda. Our last game of the season is Banger. It's not. It's not. Our last game is Banbridge, who are 11th. Early corner. That's what we like to see. Harkin. Short to Carlin. Loving that. Big deep ball to the back post. The target man. And can we get in? Five minutes in. Another highlight. And we'll run it back. Here's Pomroy. The boys have woke up. Rocks. Donald Rocks down the right-hand side. Gets to the byline. Whips it across. Friel gets up. 
Corner to Bambridge. In it comes. And it hits the crossbar. And it's smacked off the line. <sighs> Half time. And Banger have scored. So we are literally one point clear right as it stands. Oh, this is super tight. And we're not playing great. We're just, just doing enough. We're under big time pressure here. So I'm just going to change a couple of things up. Go to the tactics screen. I'm going to set my preset style here. Instantly, I've changed my team instructions to sit back and try and hit them on the break. It's a highlight. Hey, five minutes to go. Oh, my days. Big header from... Oh, come on, boys. Hacking. F tries to find Freely. Can't get there. Oh, Puma looks like he just punched a man. He's in trouble. Oh, my life. Down to 10 men. Can you believe it? Five minutes of injury time. Five minutes to hold on. We're in the countdown, boys and girls. No, no. It's 30 seconds to go. McCavitt, down the right. Oh, Connor's just slammed him. He's going to get red as well, is he? No, it's a free kick. There's 20 seconds to go. In it goes. And it's a massive clearance. And can we? Can he heave it? Run it, son. Run it. Loving it. Oh, yes. Come on. Yes. Oh, that feels good. The struggle makes it feel even better. That's it. Look at the massive crowd of 14. <laughs> the Premier Intermediate League. The boys step up. It looks like the World Cup, that trophy. I don't care, though. Get in. And big news on the manager profile front. You can see our reputation now has moved from 5% to 10%. And the thing that's gone down hilariously is my tactical consistency because I tweaked it so many times. It's gone all the way down to 10%. Media handling, I'm not even bothering with that yet. We will move it up when we can. Stats wise, we've all kind of stayed the same. But the reputation is building, which is key for us getting a new job. So our two years at Lima Verde is up. The rules are the same for me. We now have to leave. I'm going to go to the job center and have a look. Keep an eye on the channel because I might do the job search as a live YouTube stream. If not, it will be the start of the next episode. <sighs> that was a wild, wild, hard, hard ride. And remember, Brendan Freel, the man who basically got us up. You, my son, are coming with us.